Hello Scouts, it's Mr. Kugler and today we're going to take a minute and we're just going to talk about lunch on the trail. Now when you think of backpacking, many times our lunch doesn't need to be food that we've baked or cooked or boiled water and, and added dehydrated food. And I know early on in my career, in my first Philmont trek that I went to, I was in charge of buying food for the group for practice hikes and we had bought these dehydrated lunches. Uh, they were pilot biscuits and had peanut butter and jelly and that kind of stuff in the, in the packages. Although they had the correct calorie content for the activity we were doing, they weren't very filling. And quite honestly, they didn't really taste all that great. So we started coming up with some different ways that we could have lunch. Now certainly, here's an actual Philmont lunch. And this is a lunch that was made to feed two. And what I noticed from, and you can go online to Philmont Scout Ranch and look at their menus for lunches. You'll notice that pretty much everything in those lunches, or for the most part, now granted some of it's regionalized, and I know we're all in different parts of the country and things, different things are available in different parts of the country based upon likes and dislikes regionally. But a lot of the stuff is items that you can buy in the grocery store or maybe some of the big club stores where they sell big quantities of granola or Rice Krispie bars, or in this case, uh, Nutter Butter uh, um, cookies and squeeze cheese and Ritz crackers. And we did do a lot of those and we brought tuna fish and we followed a lot of the Philmont things on our practice hikes. But what I also realized is the scouts and adults, we enjoyed just a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We are fortunate not to have anybody with a peanut allergy, so it worked. But a lot of times when we're making sandwiches on the trail, what do we have to worry about? We, we're carrying things in backpacks and we have to worry about that bread getting smushed and now it's not appetizing or it's squished down and we don't have much surface area any longer to put uh, the peanut butter and the jelly on. So what we did is we came up with this on our Philmont practice hikes. We were carrying two of these pots anyways to boil our water. And in our area, I'm from Connecticut and we have a lot of Portuguese food because uh, there's a lot of people of fortunate Portuguese descent. And there's a, a bread that we have readily available, which is this round loaf of Portuguese bread. Now we found it's sliced. I won't open it up, you can trust me, but it's sliced into normal uh, bread thickness. And I'm sure there are Italian loaves and other types of bread in different parts of the country uh, that come in this round shape that fit perfectly in our, our uh, pot cook pot that we were bringing anyways. And for our Philmont crew, which would on our practice hikes would range from 10 to 12 people, two loaves of this bread was enough. And actually two loaves would fit in this pot without a problem. So what we would do is, because you're on the trail, you're stopping quick for lunch. You don't want to be doing a lot of dishwashing. So first of all, some rubber gloves, are great for people handling the food, especially if they're making it uh, for other people. And we brought some plastic knives. Now I know this is not the best case that we want to do because of the environment, but on the trail, uh, they, were, they were very helpful for us and they minimized dishwashing and everything on the trail. One of the other things we would bring is in a plastic bottle, we would bring jelly. And you know, you could open it up and you could squeeze it. It actually has a broad, it actually puts it down in bands and then that could be smoothed out as well. And then we would also bring a smaller jar of peanut butter. And it was in a smaller plastic jar. This here is uh, 18 ounces. And that was plenty uh, for our crew. Really worked out well for us. We had the pot already, our bread came out without being squished and everybody had a great lunch. Uh, we would supplement it with some granola or some Rice Krispie bars or some Nutter Butter cookies and some you know, Gatorade packets and all like that. But the main course of the peanut butter and jelly sandwich was a big hit with our crew. I hope this helps you think of different ways that you can backpack and keep your food safe by using something that you're already carrying. 
I hope you realize that you can go backpacking and find food right at your local grocery store that you don't need to go online and plan weeks or months ahead buying your food and that a lot of stuff that your crew is used to, your scouts and fellow troop mates are used to eating is readily available and may be a great opportunity, a great item to use uh, when you're backpacking. So I hope this has inspired you to get out there, have some fun with your patrol, have some fun with your troop, get out on the trail, eat well, nutritious food that can keep you going and give you energy and enjoy your time in the trail and enjoy your time camping.